Welcome to Stream News, the number one destination for your local and global tech news made in Miami. I'm Sofia Vitello. The audio porn app created by Caroline Spiegel, the sister of Snapchat founder Evan Spiegel, is gaining traction as it recently surpassed 300,000 subscribers. Quinn offers erotic content geared toward women in an audio format. Like Peloton, the app invites users to create their own content and submit 10-minute fantasy-based audios that are, quote, designed to make you orgasm, said Spiegel. So for everyone who made the New Year's resolution to stop watching porn, this might be the loophole you've been hoping for. Remember the social media chat room app Clubhouse? What's going on with them? Seems like they were so big and now they've withered back into the shadows. Well, the stream team decided to do a little digging and produce the top 10 Clubhouse stats board for 2022. Number one, the Clubhouse app was first released on iOS in 2020. Number two, both co-founders of Clubhouse were also founders of other startups. Three, Clubhouse venture capital went from 10 million to 100 million in less than a year. Four, the last funding round valued the Clubhouse app at $4 billion. Five, Clubhouse makes it to the 2021 CNBC Disruptor 50.6 Clubhouse ranks among the 2020 social networking apps on iOS. Seven, from nine to 90, the Clubhouse team is constantly growing. Eight, Clubhouse now has over 28 million downloads worldwide. Nine, Clubhouse downloads peaked in February 2021 and June 2021. And 10, Clubhouse was downloaded over 1.3 million times in December 2021. Business titan and billionaire investor Mark Cuban joins crypto-friendly Miami Mayor Francis Suarez as headline speakers at the North American Bitcoin Conference at the James L. Knight Center in Miami, Florida, January 17th to 19th of this year. The largest crypto conference and trade show of Blockchain Week Miami, they will focus on discussing the largest technologies, trends, and opportunities in the cryptocurrency and blockchain markets, including institutional investment like Grayscale, MicroStrategy, ETFs, NFT, Ethereum killers, and yield farming central bank digital currencies. So if any of that interests you, then come join us here in Miami. You already know Strain will be there. Netflix stock fell almost 3% Monday, continuing the downward trend it's been experiencing since the streaming giant reported last week. It had ended 2021 with slightly lower than expected subscriber gains and anticipated a weak start to quarter one. Netflix did not immediately respond to Strain's request for comment on the company's stock trends Monday. We don't know why the stock is failing, but if Netflix could take advice from Stream CEO Gio Punzo, it would be to never stop innovating. Do you think Netflix has stopped innovating? Live sports are the cornerstone of the pay TV bundle, but sports fans have an increasing number of options for watching their favorite teams without subscribing to traditional pay TV. Not only is Walt Disney adding more content to its ESPN Plus service every quarter, Sinclair is planning to launch standalone streaming services for the regional sports networks it operates. If consumers can stream sports without a pay TV subscription, does the cable bundle stand a chance of surviving? Breaking news, CEO of Stream Media, Gio Punzo, has been caught lying. That's right, Punzo had been quoted in an interview saying that you could create a podcast with Stream Studio in less than five minutes. New information reveals that was a lie. It actually takes less than one minute to create a podcast. So once again, don't listen to Gio. With Stream Studio, it takes less than one minute to create a podcast. So what are you waiting for? After Facebook recently rebranded to the name Meta, Inside Switcher is following suit. The Inside Switcher app will now be called Live to Social. The new name makes sense since Inside Switcher allows you to go live to social media in seconds. So going forward, if you're looking for the Inside Switcher app, think about going live to social. Listen up, streamers. Programmatic ads will look different in 2022. Here are six trends to watch. Number one, level up your transparency requirements. Advertisers need to prioritize programmatic partners that give them the transparency needed to truly understand where their campaigns are running and ideally share ownership of data. Number two, move CTV out of the emerging category. 2021 was the year of connected TV, CTV advertising, and growth will remain strong in 2022. Solving this will require both collaboration and technology platforms built specifically for CTV. And finally, number three, capitalize on industry consolidation. Consolidated competition will drive important innovation for advertisers while also making way for new point solutions that will drive the next wave of enhanced capabilities in the industry. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy what you see. Thanks and tune in next week for another episode of Street News.